Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. When we left the last episode, I don't remember what we did, but we did shit. And today we're going to do some more shit back alley time. I think we got a cutscene here. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we don't. Oh yeah, we had to uh, meet you guys at the train station, didn't we? So, let's take the skateboard to the train station. One thing about that though is we kind of can't because we lose the skateboard right by... Nah, this is gonna load a cutscene, isn't it? Way too long. Yeah. Hey! Morning! Huh? Hello, Roxas. Uh, hi. And you are... I wanted to meet you at least once. Me? Yes, you. Olette dragged me along to go shopping. Hey, you want to come with us? Um, uh, wait. Did you just see that... He's stalling. Very well then. We'll see you later, Roxas. Okay? Y yeah. Did she go to that haunted mansion? I guess we're not going to the train station. I guess we're going to the haunted mansion. In that case... We sure are. She's there. And now she's not. And she's going to the haunted mansion. How did you know? She could have just gone anywhere, really. From this, uh, what is it? Station Square, I believe? No, it's not Station Square. Well, from this place, you can really go anywhere. You don't exactly have to go to the haunted mansion. So why the fuck would you assume that? Huh? Oh, that's not good. Let me go. That is very bad because we don't have the keyblade right now. I mean, we got a keyblade before, so we might actually get a keyblade again. But this seems to be bit bad. Hey, chicken wuss. Who's that? I don't know, but they've already crossed the line. Find a weapon. I don't think this is gonna be going down easily, guys. I don't think we can hit these people. Cypher, you can't do that. You say you can't really. No, you really can't. But you can avoid the attacks, which is great. Which I don't think I've been hit by Dusk at all yet. Oh, these are Dusks, by the way. I'm sorry if I've spoiled that. That's a main. Not really that big a deal. Good. Roxas, huh? use the keyblade. Huh. 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 <sighs> <sighs> We know this place. And we know this choice as well, don't we? Remember how I said that the last thing didn't really matter? It only really gave you one uh, point. Well, this is the thing that matters. You, again, get to choose the uh, swords. The staff or the rod or however it's called, and the shield. And I don't think you have to give anything up in this game. But you have to choose one of these. Just looking at the blade, it seems to give you strength. Is strength important? You bet it is! And I received the power of the warrior, which means that I'm gonna get more strength throughout the game. 
I believe, at least. And abilities will be Luna different levels, which means that I'm gonna get scanned rather late, which kind of sucks, but I... Also, you get to fight with the key Keyblade immediately, rather than the Dream Sword. Which... Actually, it's kind of sad, because I liked fighting with the Dream Sword a little bit in Kingdom Hearts 1. But now we're gonna be taking on some more Dusks, because that's what we do best, isn't it? Okay, let's try and get them in a combo. Alright, we're not getting them in a combo. Never mind. But you can still just kill them like- Oh, I- I almost got hit. I don't think I've gotten hit yet at all, actually, in this playthrough. Actually, I might have by Cypher. Okay, I- I got hit there, so it doesn't matter anymore at all. And I just got a bonus. That's a thing this game does. Pretty much one didn't do it, but at certain points in the game, uh, with boss fights rather than levels, you get abilities. Or maybe HP up or MP up. You don't get it necessarily through only levels, but through f defeating certain bosses. Which, this was not really a boss, but it was a milestone thing. Your first real fight, and you get area recovery for it, which we are going to equip right away. Uh, we all know how abilities work, don't we? Damage control, um, half damage taken at critical moments. Equip... You get that? Oh, that's the... Oh, that is the... That's a Kingdom Key thing? Oh, right, I didn't know. Is that new to Final Mix? It probably is new to Final Mix, and that's why I never read it before. Because I only played an English patch and it probably wasn't properly translated. Because that's my luck. So let's go through the door. The door to lights. Oh, be careful. You don't know that reference, yep. Beyond this door lies a completely different world. But don't be afraid. Don't stop walking. Yeah, the whole door to light thing. You guys haven't really seen that part of the game yet. So you, you don't understand what I'm talking about, which... Alright, one thing. One really, 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 really not important, but kind of neat thing is... There's gonna be dusks around here. Um, would you spawn already? Thank you. Uh, so there's like, I think about 10 or so dusks here. And you can kill them, obviously. You, you should, because they're annoying. You don't have to kill them, you can just skip them if you want to. But what you can do is the door you just came through, it didn't vanish, so you can go back through it. And when you've defeated all the dusks around you, and you go through it, and you come back, they all respawn. So there's an option for infinite training before the boss fight which is coming up. This boss fight on standard and even on proud mode isn't that difficult, but on critical you might want to spend some time grinding up here. I'm not gonna do that, uh, because I don't feel like it and I want to wait for grinding until we get into the actual game. Everything you do with Roxas right now will be transferred to Sora when you get to play as Sora in a little bit. Well, I don't feel like I need to grind right now and I'd rather do it between recording sessions than in the middle of it and have to cut it out. So I'm not going to do, be doing any grinding. I think we will get to level 2 regardless uh, if we defeat all these Dusks. And otherwise we'll get to it in or after the boss fight. I prefer it to be before the boss fight, honestly, because I think you get a strength up on your first level. I don't. It might be defense. I don't know. Either strength or defense, I believe. And I'm not even 100% certain about that. But you get six experience per no but Per dusk. Per enemy. I really have to be careful not to call them by names you guys don't know them by yet. I mean, honestly, most of you guys probably already know this game. I'd be surprised if there's a lot of you guys who don't know this game, but are watching this Let's Play anyway. Also, be careful not to go through that door if you want to fight some more nobodies. <laughs> because you can accidentally go through it. Which would suck. But yeah, I'm doing full combos now. Uh, you can still do the reversal thing, but honestly... I don't care too much, I just want to get rid of these guys. I mean, reversal is a very handy tool. Because it breaks your combo and you get into a nice rhythm. You don't actually have to go all the way around them, like you saw there. It gives you just a rhythm. And oh, that's actually, wow, this looks very, very nice. Slightly pixelated, but that might be because I'm playing on 720p. Maybe in 780p this is very sharp. I mean, it's rather sharp as it is, but when you get close to it, it's a little pixely. Sorry, I'm fanboying about taxes again. Shouldn't be doing that. I should be fighting stuff. 
shouldn't I? But yeah, you can infinitely grind there. So, if you want to do that, go ahead. I'm not gonna. We have to defeat a mysterious enemy, which I can tell you guys is called the Twilight Thorn. And we're gonna be introduced to reaction commands, I believe, in this battle. Oh no, because reverse was a reaction command. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, boss fights... I think pretty much every boss fight in the game has a unique reaction command, at least one. Uh, I think everyone has multiple. I don't think there's a boss with just one of them. Well, it's a chain event. I mean, like this, that was a reaction command right there, but this is another one, but it's uh, part of the same chain. So, I don't know um, where I have to be. You have to stand in a certain place, and that speeds up this animation thing. Well, it's not an animation, it's a wait cycle. I mean, there's a way to speed it up. Also, if you're doing a speed run, just getting hit is faster than um, doing all the reaction commands. At least in this part, because you skip this entire animation. I think speedrunners do it that way, because you, you skip the animation there, which takes about 3 or 4 seconds, and you can just hammer away at his face. Which, this is the way you can hit him. Hit his face. He's a little bit like Darkseid. Uh, actually, he's a lot like Darkseid in that way. But he's a little bit more... advanced, you could say. And you can reversal up to his face and hit him like once or twice if you do it right. And if you don't reversal... You get hit. And this boss is harder than I remember it being. How is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, you don't actually have to hit his face. His body also works apparently. But his legs don't, which is a little bit weird. This is not the best way to hit him. Yeah, that is the best way to hit him. Right here. <laughs> And obviously the reaction command chain I uh, just showed you is a very good way to hit him as well. And then he does uh, all kinds of weird moves and this is the best way to deal massive amounts of damage to this guy. And like there were shadows in the original dark side fight, there's other enemies here uh, which help out the boss. And you can grind on them if you want to and you probably should be taking potions when you need to. Alright, I don't remember to be in this many reversal things. Um, maybe they changed that any... No, they probably didn't. Maybe my memory is just not very good. It's potion time. Alright, let's kill off these enemies first. Oh, they drop HP orbs. I didn't know. I thought they wouldn't. I mean, it makes sense that they do, because there's a massive amount of HP damage that this guy deals to you. And we're gonna get reaction commands again, which I don't mind because it, you can deal quite a lot of damage without actually doing much. Pressing triangle and a quick time event really isn't that difficult. I say that, there's a couple of difficult-ish ones. <laughs> nah, there's a couple of tricky ones in the game. Not in this boss fight. It's a very easy way to deal a lot of damage throughout the entire game, honestly. I don't know if these reaction commands actually deal damage. I could only assume they do. And I think it's standing on his hand or something. Yeah, his hand. That's how you speed it up. Otherwise, it takes like almost a minute or something like that. I don't know. But I can only assume all these reaction commands uh, on their own right deal damage to him. But if you do the entire chain, or... Well, you don't actually have to succeed in the entire chain, but... Uh, you can get to hit him like this as well, which is like a good two or three combos. Uh, two combos, I'd say. He's probably gonna go up now. Yeah, it's two combos and a hit. So, there's a good way to hit him. And then... Oh, no, 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 don't, don't do damage. Please don't be scary. And that was it. I got maximum HP increase and I've, I got God, which... We're gonna be using that... Not too much, I don't think. 
in a couple of battles, especially a single battle later on in the game, you're going to be using that a lot. But for the time being, mwah, not that much. My name is Namine. Roxas. Do you remember your true name? Say no more, Namine. But if no one tells him, Roxas will... It's best he doesn't know the truth. Hey! You're that pickpocket! Cypher, strike a pose, you know? How's this? That's totally perfect, you know? How about one more, you know? What's that for? Keepsake. Those freaks in the white jumpsuits are gone, you know? Cakewalk. What were those things? Outsiders, that's what. And if they don't wise up to the rules around here, I might have to take disciplinary measures. Oh yeah, Cypher's always looking after the town, you know? Chicken and out of the tournament tomorrow. We'll be waiting, you know. So you hung out with Cypher's gang today? N no, it it's not like that. Oh yeah, how was the beach? Wasn't that today? We didn't go. It wouldn't be the same without you, right? Sorry. Hey, how about we go tomorrow? We could get those pretzels and... I promised I'd be somewhere. Oh. Oh! You and I have to make the finals. That way, no matter who wins, the four of us split the prize. Okay, you're on. You two are gonna clean up. Go get them. It's a promise. I'm out of here. Restoration at 48%. Was that Nomine made of data? No. Nomine hijacked the data herself. Look what she's done now. She's totally beyond my control. Calm down. It doesn't matter. As long as Namine accomplishes her goal, we needn't worry about what befalls Roxas.
It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. But well, I'm not gonna betray Sora either. My friends are my power. So your heart won this battle. It, it is I, Ansem. Lead me into everlasting darkness. Sora! Forget it. There's no way you're taking Kyrie's heart. Kyrie. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Take this. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry, I will. Promise? Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. The fourth day in Twilight Town. And that was a long ass cutscene. I believe that was like six or even almost seven minutes. <laughs> it's quite a while. Hurry to the Sandlot. You're gonna be late. Why did you go to the usual spot first? Why did you just. You don't live there, do you? Do you? No, you don't. That's a little bit. I must admit, that's a little bit weird. And oh yeah, the tournament, of course, a struggling tournament, which is just like, meet a couple of opponents, have some story, that's it. We're gonna be doing that in this episode, because again, longer episodes for the beginning of the <clears throat> Wow, <laughs> that was a voice crack and a half. Longer episodes for the beginning of the series. What are you gonna root for? Both of them, silly. Ladies and gentlemen, struggle fiends of Twilight Town, it's time for summer's most sizzling clash. That's right, today is the day for the struggle and title match. Who will be the one to break through the ranks and take on our champion Setzer? Cypher, you know? And who will leave today as our new struggle champion? Hater, Roxas! The crowd is fired up, so you know what comes next. Let's struggle! Hey now, it's time to introduce today's combatants. The four bad boys who struggled their way through the preliminaries. Regular finalist and head of the Twilight Disciplinary Committee, Cypher. Completely out of nowhere. Who knew he'd make it so far this year? Vivi! An underground favorite and local attitude problem. Hainer! It's his first trip to the finals. And struggler number four, who happens to be my absolute favorite customer, Roxas! So, who will win this sweltering summer struggle? Who will take home the grand prize? the summa cum laude of struggle, the four crystal trophy! And a chance to take on our defending champion, Setzer! It won't be long now, folks. I suggest our challengers go over the official struggle rules before we begin. I forgot, it's not just normal fighting. I just remembered, there's some rules indeed. 
such as you cannot strangle your opponent. That, that may or not, may not be something I just made up. I think... Do we go over the rules with you? I think we do. Back in the day I used to practice battling with friends. No, I don't go over the rules with you. Uh, with you then? Uh, I better listen, yeah. I mean, it's not that difficult. It's only gonna be taking a couple of minutes. Yay. You already know the rules, but a refresh can't hurt. It's easy. You've got 100 orbs. 100 orbs in total. I mean, it's like you, you're rich in orbs. Attack it to take away the opponent's orbs. That's all you have to do. Land a hit on your opponent and your opponent will drop orbs. But if you're hit, you'll be the one losing orbs, so watch out. Keep collecting orbs. When the match is over, the participant with the most orbs wins. It's really that easy, and every match is like a minute and a half, I believe. I think 90 seconds. Sounds about right. I have to go up for against Hena first. I do? Can't be right. I mean, we were supposed to be fighting in the finale. Uh, the finals. So... Alright, maybe we do fight. Hey, sorry about yesterday. What? You still worried about that? You need to learn to let that stuff go. I got a lot on my mind. Sorry, man. Wait, what am I sorry for? Our first match of today's struggle tournament will be between Roxas and his best friend, Hayner. All right, so... Cool. And I think it's a mini game later on in the game as well. Uh, you can struggle as Sora, I might be mistaken there. There's 200 orbs in the game in total. Uh, oh, they're only a minute long. I thought they were a minute and a half. Maybe later matches are a minute and a half? I don't know. If you can't win this, it's rather easy, especially since you just got area recovery. Again, don't win this, and you honestly are kind of pathetic. Uh, maybe getting 200 orbs is a little bit difficult. I mean, I've quite easily done it before, I believe, but... Well, it's starting to be a little bit more difficult now, for some reason. Maybe because I'm not into it as much. But in the past, I've certainly gotten over 200... Well, not over 200 orbs, but I've gotten 200 orbs. Uh, all 200 of them. And then it's just a matter of running around, but... Yeah. Also, you your HP can drain down all the way, it seems like. So, you should be careful about that. But if you've got more than 100, you can just keep running around and not be hits and you will win. It's really not a well-balanced game, if you ask me. I didn't equip guard. I probably should have. But yeah, I won no problem there. I mean, my HP was raining a little bit. I'll be honest there. But it wasn't that bad. And the winner is... Roxas! Not even a friendship will slow this kid down. And Hayner put up a great fight too. I lost. Oh, I can't believe it. I guess I taught you well. I had a lot of fun fighting you. Yeah, well, I didn't, wise guy. Hey, let's find a way to cheer you up. Nah, that's all right. Out of the way. You in a rush to lose? Don't mess with your elders. Whoa! Just look at those sparks fly. I guess Cypher didn't expect to fight one of his own boys. When did Vivi get so tough?
you're mine! I... I'm not sure what just happened. Um, but the winner is... Vivi! In a positively blistering comeback. That's not Vivi. Huh? Thrash him. It looks like Cypher's withdrawn from the struggle for third place. So I'm in third now? Oh, baby! So what the hell is up with Vivi? I, I don't know. Uh, but this episode's been running a little bit long, so I want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Next episode we'll be taking on this dude over here, Vivi. And let's see what he has to offer. Until then, do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you've enjoyed this video, you can share it on social media. It really helps out the channel if you do, well, all of that. And you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Twitter are down below in the description. As always, I've been Vlogger. You have been awesome. Bye.